Hi there, Wes here. Uh, welcome to part four of my Build a PC series. This is going to be uh, all about the storage uh, for the PC. Um, first things first, we have a hard drive. We're going to be using two hard drives. They're serial ATA hard drives, which is the new uh, the new sort of transmission um, medium that they're using. It uses a, a smaller cable that has less conductors, and it's a serial uh, type arrangement instead of parallel, which the old parallel drives had 40 or 80 pins and pretty massive cable. But these are faster than those and they have a smaller cable. Um, what I'm using right now is a it's the same drive, basically it's a Hitachi Death Star. These are 750 terabyte or 750 gigabytes each. They uh, have 32 megabyte buffers. They use perpendicular storage. Um, they're very fast, very reliable drives. Quiet. I haven't had a problem. I've been using Hitachi's for a while now, and they're really good. So we have two two 750s. <clears throat> one of these will be a primary drive, and the other one will be a backup drive that I just back up stuff. You know, every night usually, usually just automate that backup process. Um, secondly, we have our optical drive. Uh, this is another Samsung. This is the newest, newest in the line of what I had before. This is an SHS223. Um, you know, it's dual layer DVD burner, 20x. Does light scribe. It does you know CDRs, regular DVDs. It, it does everything basically, and it's another. It's pretty fast and reliable, and they're not expensive. So we got that upgraded. <clears throat> Next thing, this is something I was using my old computer. It's the same thing. It's a, a Dynex. It's a just a memory card reader. It reads Smart Media, Compact Flash. Um, it even reads the micro SD that's for the phones, so you don't have to use an adapter. You can just plug, take it right out of your phone and plug it directly in here, and works just fine. So. It's really handy, handy thing to have, you know, back in the old days we all had floppy drives in our computers and nobody has a floppy drive anymore, but memory card reader is kind of taking the place of that and they're very handy to have. One other thing I decided to get is a, uh, a removable caddy, hard drive caddy, I can add in there, add into the front bay, one of the front bays, so I can, <clears throat> I can, uh, I can basically, uh, if I, if someone brings over a hard drive with stuff on it I want, or if I want to give them, you know, a hard drive full of stuff, we can just slide a hard drive in this thing and copy it over and pull it out, and it's ready to go. Uh, it's a fast way to transfer large amounts of data, or just uh, if you want to do an off-site backup of something, you know, you can put it on a hard drive and pull the hard drive out and take it, you know, take it to work or wherever where it's safe. And so this is pretty cheap, you know, it just plugs right in and gives you a removable hard drive right in the front of your computer. So that's pretty much it for the storage aspect. I'll see you next time and we'll talk about the cooling.